Thank you for joining the National Association for Continence to learn more about how advanced therapies may help your symptoms of overactive bladder. If you've already tried absorbent products and behavior modification, and if oral medications aren't giving you the results you'd like, advanced therapies may be a good option. They're not as well known as oral medication or surgery, but they can be very effective for many who suffer with OAB. These are usually for patients who haven't responded well to oral medications or other treatment methods, as well as for those who've discontinued their treatments because of unwanted side effects. If that's the case for you, there are a number of options your doctor may discuss with you, including injections for bladder control. One of these is a medication that's more commonly associated with cosmetic treatments as a way to avoid wrinkles. It causes temporary nerve paralysis, and that same property is what makes it a potentially effective treatment for OAB. For many patients, it can reduce the strong need to urinate and minimize or even eliminate wetting accidents. If you're interested in trying injected medications for your OAB, make sure to talk with your doctor to identify the treatment path that's right for you. Another group of options you and your doctor may consider is called neuromodulation. Neuromodulation uses gentle nerve stimulation that's intended to normalize brain-bladder communication. One form of neuromodulation is sacral nerve stimulation. 85% of people who used it found success in the first year, and it offers three times greater improvement in quality of life when compared with medications. Be aware that implanting this system has risks just like any other procedure. You'll want to watch out for swelling, bruising, bleeding, and infection. And while it may not be right for everybody, more than 225,000 people have found relief using it. Another form of neuromodulation is percutaneous tibial nerve stimulation, or PTNS. This is a therapy that gently stimulates the tibial nerve. That's a nerve that runs down the back of your leg all the way to your foot to restore bladder function. It can be administered right in your doctor's office, and it's delivered during 30-minute sessions over a course of 12 weeks. After that, you can expect monthly maintenance sessions. Many people who can't tolerate oral medication side effects appreciate the fact that PTNS doesn't typically produce those reactions. Plus, there's no self-catheterization, which is something that many injectable medications require. That makes for an easier, more comfortable experience, helping you to live with less worry and with more confidence. This video has been brought to you by the National Association for Continence. Visit us online at nafc.org to learn more.